What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and I just got done watching the Smash Bros Direct, and I have to admit that it seems like I was pretty wrong about Ultimate. What really sucked is, while I was watching this Direct, my internet completely crashed, so I ended up having to watch it on my tiny cell phone and take notes on a piece of paper, but I've got it all down here, and I want to rant about it, because... What really happened is, when I originally saw Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it seemed cool, but it didn't seem like something that the general public would get into. It just seemed like another Smash Bros. And we've seen so many at this point that I wasn't sure that people who didn't already own a Nintendo Switch would be jumping on board with this. But now that we've seen another really deep dive into the game, it's undeniably going to be something that moves a lot of units. So the big point of this Direct was definitely all about Castlevania. Now, I'm a a relatively new Castlevania fan. I've only gotten into it basically in the last three or four years, but in that time I've gone through and beat all of them. And this looks so cool because they're really actually giving us a ton of Castlevania fanfare, including Richter. They're actually giving us not one, but two separate really cool characters from Castlevania. Richter is going to be the Echo Fighter, and Simon Belmont is going to be the main. Each one of these guys looks really cool, but I'm actually very interested in the fact that it appears that their moveset is actually going to be based on the different special items you find while traversing through the Castlevania universe. Things like the axe, throwing bottles that explode into fire, and stuff like the grapple hook. Now, this is so cool because I really think it's going to give him a lot of chances to have a different fighting style, sort of in the way of my main is Link, and one of the things I like about Link is the fact that he has bombs, arrows, and a boomerang on top of his sword to make it where he has a wide range of abilities that really makes it where, depending on the situation, I can fight very dynamically. And this new fighter and Echo Fighter really seem to be playing into that. I have to say that one thing that really kind of surprised me is right at the end they announced the we're actually getting a new mode, which is an old mode coming back. So basically, you know how you'd have that thing in the older Smash Brothers where it was where you could fight a bunch of different NPCs in a row and just basically have a story mode without much story. Uh, I consider it sort of just your typical arcade style gameplay, but they are now bringing it back and calling it Classic Mode. Now this is such a nice touch because it gives you a more structured way to practice a game that really begs to be played. Another Echo Fighter we got a good glance at was Dark Samus. Uh, that's pretty freaking awesome because already we have Samus and Samus has been here from the very, very start. But Dark Samus is something that's cool because we're now just having more ways to play. The fact that they're giving us so many Echo Fighters is pretty rad. And I'm actually really happy if they showed us that Echo Fighters are not going to be cluttering up your tip menu. In fact, you can flip an option where you're actually going to see Echo Fighters more as like a secondary costume. Instead of taking up separate slots on the character list, if you want, then you can have all the Echo Fighters just stacked on top. So you'll see just a button for Simon Belmont, and if you want, you flip it over and it's Richter. You don't have to worry about tons and tons of stuff. So even though this is going to be a huge library of fighters, it's not going to be super overwhelming if you don't want it to be. It's especially because right at the end, they teased another all-new fighter, which is going to be King K. Rule, the bad guy from Donkey Kong. Now, I'd heard rumors that they wanted to put him in there, but seeing him actually in action was really radical because he's such a cool inverse of Donkey Kong. He looks like he's going to be uh, able to use a cannon and have all sorts of cool grab moves and really look interesting. I'm super hyped to see what he plays like, but I'm also very curious to see what the fighting community ends up doing with him because he looks like a character who could hit just as hard as Donkey Kong. At the end of the trailer, it showed them both punch each other simultaneously and they equal each other out. So I feel like that's them trying to convey the fact that he is going to be a slow, heavy hitter in the same way that DK is. This is so cool. Something else they really kind of showed us a bunch of, which is uh, a bunch of new items. So, we are getting a bunch of new items in the form of like a giant new sword, a weird bomb that has feet that when you pick it up it looks like a football and you hold it above your head like Link would and it sets off a nuke to everybody who's around you and it seems like the more you get hit, the more damage it does. They also showed us a lot of stuff about assist trophies and 
What's really cool, and maybe this has been in previous games, but I certainly don't remember it, is that they talk about boss characters, where you're actually going to be, be able to summon different assist trophies, but there will also be bosses that just show up on certain stages. We saw people fighting Dracula, and we saw somebody fighting Rathos from freaking Monster Hunter, who is now going to be an assist trophy and also a boss. So periodically, you're just going to see these super bosses just appear appear and start tearing up the stage in the middle of a match and I assume maybe we'll have to team up and battle them or uh, maybe it's a thing where you're going to be fighting them one on one when it comes to uh, classic mode. I'm not exactly certain because I don't remember this from the Wii U version at all but I find it very 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 awesome. I mean that's kind of what's grabbing me the most. It makes me realize that I was wrong about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is I was a little bit worried that this would be just like every other Smash Brothers. Something with a big library of stuff to play, lots of fighters, cool uh, diversity, but it's more than that. It's actually one of those games that feels like they're trying to just combine every single idea they've ever had. Some stuff like the fact that there is going to be every freaking stage from the Nintendo 64 game is back. Everything that you could possibly imagine is returning. In total, there are going to be a hundred and three stages to battle on. That is nuts. But something else that really kind of just blew my mind is um, there is actually going to be a new mode, which is called Squad Battle. Now, this is really cool to me because obviously I am a huge, huge lover of Marvel vs. Capcom. I play all of them, I enjoy all of them, I even go to Marvel vs. Capcom tournaments. And I've always liked the fact that Marvel vs. Capcom has that system where you choose three fighters and you battle, and once they're dead, they're dead. One by one until the last man standing. Now, here's the thing. We've never seen something like that in Smash Brothers. Typically, you'd have stock or you have stamina. There are different ways to play, but this is basically going to make it where you can now choose either three or five characters at once. This will be your squad. Somebody else does the same. Their own team of three or five. And then you face each other and one by one you pick each other off until only one person is the winner. That is so radical to me because I feel like people don't realize how much that can really change the flow of combat. Having it where you can actually have other characters constantly jumping into the mix. Are you good at fighting Fox? Well, beat him up. And then all of a sudden, as soon as you manage to finish off Fox, imagine Ganondorf drops in and starts blasting you with a super smash, or final smash. And then you take him out, and the Dark uh, dark Samus descends from the top and starts using assist trophies like Waluigi to uppercut you into space. That's so cool because it makes it where I feel like they're really trying to push people to no longer have a single main. This is something I fall victim to a lot, which is that anytime I'm going to be fighting competitively, I only choose one person, which is Link. That is my main dude, and I go to him over and over again. He's my, my main weapon in every situation. And clearly, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is trying to make players like me finally open our minds to realize that there is a humongous bracket. Tons and tons of different characters. Both Echo Fighters, new people, and those returning from the ancient past. And all of them are going to be playing in cool different ways. I'm so excited because they've also introduced stuff from a new practice mode, which is going to make it where you can actually do stuff like this. It's going to be on a big paper spreadsheet, so you can actually calculate not just your damage, but how far you can hit people and how much a uh, forward A is actually going to do. This game is clearly just so built to get us hyped. Everything about this gets me excited, but the final thing I want to say real quick is that well, there is something about this that they teased at the very, very, very end of this Direct, which really I don't think anybody is going to talk about, but immediately stuck out to me. On the main menu, there are a series of options as to the modes you can play, the stages you can play on, or stuff on the side, which was clearly social buttons. Ones where you could have a specific friends list, which probably is going to be shared with like your Switch friend code, and one that shed 
messages. It was a little email folder with a one next to it, meaning that in this demo, he had clearly received a message. Now, is that going to be something we can do via voice chat? Can I record something and send it to somebody the way I can on Xbox or PlayStation? Or is this text chat? Maybe it'll be something along the lines of Dark Souls, where if you write a comment in Dark Souls on the floor, there are actually a series of keywords. You can say like, watch your step fall incoming. So it's one of the things where you can't write out LOL touch my PP, but you can say stuff that will actually convey something. So maybe there will be a series of keywords that way people aren't being jerks on there, but you can say, I challenge you to squad battle and get somebody to invite you. It's so cool because I'm really glad that clearly they're going to be putting their best foot forward when it comes to online features and Nintendo Switch's Smash Brothers Ultimate. But what do you think about this? Did you watch the Direct? And uh, tell me what you think of it in the comments down below. Uh, okay, I'll be honest, my internet has been going down all morning, so I might not be able to upload this. So if you see this video, please give it a like. I'm going to try and hurry up and upload this real quick before it goes down again, because it's driving me nuts. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Oh, hi. I'm just working on the next video. If you want to see what it is, go ahead and click this button and you can subscribe. Also, if you click these video links, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. Now I'm just going to sit here for a minute and uh, wait for you to subscribe. Oh, I guess I could put on these giant glasses. I literally found these on a roller coaster.